published 0913 EDT, 18 September 2017 Updated 0913 EDT, 18 September 2017 Shares in BAE Systems were hovering near a 12-month high after Qatar's defense minister signed a letter of intent to buy 24 Typhoon aircraft from Britain. The agreement was signed yesterday during a visit to the Gulf state by Defence Secretary Sir Michael Fallon, who said it marked the UK's first major defence contract with Qatar. He said this is an important moment in our defence relationship and the basis for even closer defence cooperation between our two countries. We also hope that this will help enhance security within the region across all Gulf allies and enhance typhoon interoperability across the GCC. Dundeal British Secretary of State for Defence Michael Fallon shakes hands with Minister of State for Defence of Qatar, Khalid bin Mohammed al Atiyah after their meeting in Doha the Gulf State agreed a potential order for the aircraft to be assembled at BAE's Wharton site in Lancashire, providing a boost for the defence manufacturer and the UK's attempts to win more export deals for their pounds 80 million aircraft. The news boosted the share price of BAE Systems, with the FTSE 100 listed company rising 2.9%, or 17.5p to a near 12-month high of 613.6p. The firm said in a statement BAE Systems welcomes a formal statement of intent between the governments of the UK and Qatar signed today in Doha on the potential purchase of 24 Typhoon aircraft for the future military and training requirements of the Qatar Armed Forces. Discussions are ongoing, and it would be inappropriate to comment further at this time. David Madden, a market analyst at CMC Markets UK said that while the value of the sale was not disclosed, it was likely to be in excess of pounds 1 billion. The resulting share price boost has helped BAE Systems recover from the knock it took in August, when it announced that it would take a restructuring charge for its intelligence division. Madden said that announcement sent the stock to a six-month low. Today's deal is a boost for the defence manufacturer and the UK's attempts to win more export deals for the pounds 80 million aircraft Qatar agreed to order for 24 typhoons to be assembled at BAE's Wharton site in Lancashire but recently the firm has witnessed sentiment changing towards the stock. Last month, Goldman Sachs added the stock to its conviction by list citing Saudi Arabian contracts as the reason behind the move. However the deal is likely to anger other Gulf countries currently boycotting Doha. Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Egypt, and Bahrain cut diplomatic and trade links with Qatar in early June, suspending air and shipping routes with the world's biggest exporter of liquefied natural gas, which is home to the region's biggest U.S. military base. The wealthy Gulf state has been accused by its neighbors of supporting terrorism and meddling with Iran. Saudi Arabia's arch rival in the region. Qatar denies the accusations. Michael Fallon signs a contract to sell Typhoon warplanes to Qatar in a major deal for Earth crisis has put the region on edge and prompted Turkey to send troops to Doha in a sign of support. But last week French President Emmanuel Macron urged the lifting of a settled embargo on Qatar in effect since June. Both Paris and Berlin-backed diplomatic efforts led by Kuwait a key mediator in the crisis along with the United States. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a joint project between BAE, France's Airbus and Italy's Leonardo, previously known as Finmeccanica, and supports an estimated 40,000 jobs in Britain. Neither statement gave the cost of the combat jet deal. BAE had agreed in 2014 to supply Saudi Arabia with 72 Typhoon jets in a deal worth £4.43 billion. Fallon told the conference in London on Saturday that the British government would step up efforts to help BAE Systems to sell more Typhoon jets with government or government deals. The Typhoon has attracted fewer orders this year than the rival Rafale built by Francis Dassault Aviation, which has agreed deals with Egypt and Qatar. Qatar also signed a deal in June to buy F-15 fighter jets from Boeing in the United States for $12 billion and concluded a $6 billion deal with Italy for seven Navy vessels.